Okay, we got the guard with us? Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, let's get him on. Dog, what's going on? Pace, Pace, for uh, for people in the, in, the, in the audience, this is Jalen Brown, NBA. NBA All-Star, uh, all, all, all pro. NBA All-Pro. History maker. History maker, let's clap that up. Appreciate you, King, what's going on? Nothing much, just trying to put the plan in motion, that's it. Yeah, well, we wanted to uh, congratulate you on First signing foremost, yeah. uh, the biggest NBA contract of all time. I think that's huge for a number of reasons, not just semantics and the money, it's because of where you come from, uh, some of the things that you've mentioned, that you went through, uh, teachers putting tweets up that they expected you to be, uh, wait, be did, in prison. Did, did you did you run that back on her? Please, let, let us know. No, I didn't. No, uh, uh, no I get it. You want to take the high road. Uh, How much did no. that motivate you in terms of, uh, you know, staying focused uh, and staying in tune with what, you know, you got to do? Uh, it gave me an a ultra focus. One, I just understood kind of how the education system is set up. It's designed for you to fail in the first place. And once you get an understanding of that, you know, the world is yours. So I just try to open it up to our young, our younger crowd, our younger generation to know what's going on around them and be able to make the wise choices. Yeah, see, a lot of people don't know when you showed up for your interview, while other people showed up in jeans and sneakers, you showed up in a suit because you understood that this was about business. So you didn't want to be associated like you're not, basketball is what you do, it's not who you are. Am I correct? Exactly. And, and you're also a chess player, yes? Exactly. All right, so you understand the ins and outs of, of the way this game is being played and, and your role in this and what it is that you have to do. Um, First, I, I wanted to uh, commend you for your answer on uh, that press conference uh, about building yes. Black Wall Street. That was, um, it was dope because you were really steadfast on what you said. You didn't need any notes. You just kind of really just uh, surgically answered that question. I thought it was a very profound answer as well. So I wanted to like really shout you out on that one. I appreciate it, but it's not just an answer. This is real life situations, Absolutely. real life difficulties that people of color are facing, not just in Boston, but all over the U.S. The wealth disparity has grown and increased every year since, you know, post-slavery, you know, just because we feel like we have the, uh, the means to be able to reach alternative success. We think that, you know, that's what the, the, the measuring stick is for our people, and it's just not... So we gotta we gotta build some more entities. We gotta use our selected leaders, our officials, to put together more platforms and and really create some spaces for people to win. And I thought that was a critical part of your answers that you didn't say this is a burden in which Jalen Brown has to take on. You included everyone because it does take each and every one of us to do our part, no matter how big or small, uh, to make sure that that's something that we can collectively do over a, a period of time. Yes. Absolutely. And then on top of that, I think it'll be for the betterment of the entire economy. Absolutely. And I got analytics that can support that as well. So not just lifting our people up, but lifting up everybody in the, in the, in the, in the realm. So uh, I think that was an important part, too. I don't want to hold you too long, but how significant was having John Carlos there, having your young people there, and to be at MIT out of all places, nothing against the Boys and Girls Club, but... Uh, the emphasis on the education and all. Well, yeah, I could have signed and did it anywhere. I could have, you know, usually players do it at the at the practice facility or mm -hmm. whatever in one of the, the ownership's offices, but I wanted to do it somewhere that was more meaningful, that made more sense for me. I already had my camp going at MIT where I take kids from um, disadvantaged community. I take kids from basically the hood and build a curriculum for them at MIT. So I just made, I made our ownership just meet me over where I was already going to be at. Absolutely. Super, super dope, man. We're so proud of you. Um, we'll have more in-depth conversations once you solidify, uh, you know, some of the things that you have going. Yeah, because we want to we want to amplify that over here as well. We want to amplify that message on our small platform. For sure. So uh, we thank you for taking some time out, man. And our audience is going to be able to take that and, and, and get behind you because it's bigger than basketball. And uh, the way you carry, first of all, I had an opportunity to talk to you 
uh, a while back before you even uh, turned pro uh, through uh, your uncle Dice, who, who's an amazing uh, uh, being to be around. And so I knew early on what this was going to be and to see it come to fruition is, is a great accomplishment. So we want to thank you and support you all the way with your future endeavors on the court and off the court. Absolutely, and stay tuned. Uh, the, I haven't launched this uh, platform and this program yet, but it'll have verticals where people will be able to invest and have equity from day one and be a part of you know, the minority group that's being emphasized because it, it, it should be able to be touchable for real people in real time. Absolutely. All right, man, well, we appreciate you. And tell Dice we'll talk to him soon. We'll talk to you soon and keep your head up, King. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate you guys. All right, peace. peace.